Now this time I'm going to show you how to draw a tangent to an ellipse from a point P that is not actually on the ellipse. So it's an external point P. So here again we have just the ellipse and the focal points, which you should draw automatically after drawing an ellipse. It's the very next thing you should find. Whether you're asked for them or not, you're going to need them. So we've just got F1 and F2 and an external point. So the first thing I've done here is drawn an arc from the point P, which is radius point P, F1. So I put the point of the compass in point P, extended it out as far as F1, and drawn that arc. I then cut that arc with another arc, which is radius V1, V2, center F2. Now that again is radius V1, V2, which is the full length of the major axis. So if that major axis was 120, I would be setting my compass to 120, and then putting the point of the compass here on F2 to draw this arc which will then cut the first arc that I drew. Now the key points that I'm looking for are that one and that one. Now depending on where the tangent is going to end up, I will need to find a point of contact which is either here or down here someplace. Now you'll know that from the look of the question, where the tangent needs to be. We'll assume that the tangent okay, is coming from P down along this side of the ellipse. So what we're going to do in that event is join this key point back to F2. In other words, from this point back to the far focal point, the focal point that's furthest away from where you're working. So I've just done that now. I've joined this point back to the far focal point, and where it crosses the ellipse, this is the point I'm looking for. Point Q is the point of contact between this tangent that I'm going to draw and the yellow ellipse. So I've just drawn it in now, the blue tangent, from point P to the ellipse, and the point of contact is then point Q.